Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General Reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, uh, these messages are for you uh, for the weekend of May 5th through the 7th, 2023. All right, so I wanna thank you guys for uh, all your love and support. And let's see what we have coming out. All right. So we have the Eight of Cups. We've got the what's that? Oh, Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. The Nine of Swords. The King of Wands. The Four of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. Okay. So the overall energy, you could be feeling left out and or lonely, um, especially if you just moved uh, to a place where you don't really know anybody um, or it just seems like you're not meeting people or you have to, it seems like something's going on with your home life or your living situation that maybe you're not fully happy about. Um, hmm. You also could be feeling left out or like people are all around you doing things and leaving you out of the picture. Um, Seems like you also could stop talking to somebody for whatever reason, or you feel like maybe it's time to stop talking to someone. Hmm. I do feel that there are moments where you feel happy um, or you do feel a sense of emotional security. Um, but then something turns around and then you're back to having some kind of anxiety. You may be having some sort of concerns in regards to family. Something could be going on. You're worried about your family. You're thinking about family. In a love situation, you might be missing someone or someone misses you. I feel like maybe somebody had a dream and that triggers some sort of thoughts or memories about how things used to be. It's possible there's someone that you still daydream about um, or wonder if you'll see or hear from again. Mm. Now, also, it could be something a little opposite like you have you're surrounded uh by family or people who do love you but regardless you still are stressing about something and asking why are you still feeling this way even though you're surrounded by the love and support of other people mm. You might find yourself looking at some sort of old messages and it just seems like you start to overthink things. You might be overthinking, uh, like someone said something and then you just can't stop thinking about what they said. You're just like still thinking about it. I do feel that you're gonna find a peace of mind um, you're going to get some sort of alone time if it is your situation where you feel crowded around people that you can't escape. Um, I do feel like you'll have some alone time. It's possible you need to set boundaries with people to find peace. Maybe you find that it's not about feeling lonely, but maybe about the people that you're around and realize that you're your best company or you're most happy when you're to yourself, you might need some me time. Mm. I 
I feel like you might do something that brings you peace this weekend, like swimming or taking like a long bubble bath. I feel something is calming about water for you. You also might be sipping a little bit. I don't feel like you're just getting drunk, but it does seem like you might sit uh, on some, some wine or whatever to calm your nerves. Mm. Initially, if you felt um, like you made a mistake or you were regretting some sort of decision, I feel that ultimately you feel that you made the right choice. You're like, I'm okay, I'm glad I did decide to do X, Y, Z. You realize that was the best choice. If, especially if, if like you were having a hard time leaving somebody and he left them and you're like, man, that relationship was a facade. I'm so glad that I walked walked away and you start to have doubts and you're like, what? you're like, wait a minute, did I make the right choice? It does seem like ultimately you realize that, yeah, I did. That was a good choice to let that alone. Mm. Hmm. I don't know what is triggering some kind of insecurities, but it seems like something's being triggered. I kind of feel like somebody is also talking about uh, the child's father, kind of like saying, oh yeah, your daddy was a playboy or your daddy did this, that, and the other. That's why we got a divorce. Or like, I kind of feel like somebody can laugh about it now but it wasn't funny then. Some of you need a vacation, you need to get away. Either somebody's life that you're looking at is a facade or your life is a facade. Like you're pretending that everything is happy, but really, you know, you might be broken inside. Mm. And it also seems like maybe there is some sort of power struggles or like maybe you feel controlled by family or you're controlled by your family maybe you feel smothered hmm you also may feel that someone portrays themselves to be happy but you really feel that or can see that this person is mean um or hateful it seems like you're seeing some sort of uh, or have been looking through rose tinted glasses maybe you knew that you were but you were just like i don't care this is i'd rather live in a fantasy than the reality um but it seems like you're dealing with illusions and realizing that the honeymoon is over or that the illusion is ending it could be that you were dealing with somebody or are dealing with somebody who's in an unhappy relationship, but they're still staying in it. Um, hmm. And it also seems like there could be some anxiety in regards to the paternity of a child. I don't know if you always believed that you were adopted. Um, or if people have been 
covering up some sort of lie in regards to who the father is. I kind of feel like you might be dealing with family issues. It seems like something is going on with family. Either your family that, I mean, like you, you your partner and your child or your parents. I also feel that you could be troubled as something that you read. I was looking at you seeing some sort of messages, but it, it still looks like you're finding something. Like you could be going through a photo album and it's something that you're reading or somebody like tucked something away in a photo album and you're like, wow, why am I just realizing this? Career-wise, you also have moments where you're happy about what you're doing. And then there are thoughts of you, but this isn't really what I want to be doing. I really want to be living this life or I wish I had this type of job. I mean, I feel like you guys are going to be okay, but there are moments where you start to worry about things or... Um, certain issues that you put a band-aid on like that band-aid is like falling off and you're like man i can't cover keep covering this up i need to fix this you might be ignoring um some sort of deeper issue going on some of you might be nervous about starting a new job or feeling like you want to quit one of your jobs, if you have like part time job, a part time job, you might feel like I think I need to quit. Um, I also feel you could be concerned about some sort of bills. You're like, what am I going to do about these bills? It seems like there's also something that you're wanting wanting to say, but you don't know how to say it. Hmm. Um, okay, I also get a situation where maybe you are comfortable or realize that you're gay or bisexual, but your family isn't. Um, and maybe that's the only people that you're worried about um, being yourself around or I don't know if you've been hiding this, but I kind of feel something could be going on in regards to the community that you belong to or people are questioning or your parents are questioning, like, who is this person? Um, like, what exactly is this relationship? In a love situation, I feel like somebody is potentially pursuing you hard, but I don't know that you want the attention from this person. But they're just like really adamant and this person might want to commit to you um, or maybe someone just keeps showing up in your energy and you're like, I don't want to deal with this person. They keep popping up in my readings. Um, but there is a possibility that there is a fire energy um, or just a very dominating presence 
that seems to be pursuing you. But I, I don't know, it just kind of seems like you don't want them. Mm. The other way I see this is that you might find yourself eventually setting boundaries with people, especially if you feel like somebody just keeps trying to manipulate you or um, take advantage or, you know, take your kindness for granted, like then you end up having to set boundaries with this person because you might see that they just keep pushing and pushing until you're like, okay, that's enough, enough is enough. So at some point I feel like you're gonna set boundaries with a very uh, strong personality um, or dominating personality. You also could call somebody out on their spiritual beliefs, especially if someone is like a hardcore, oh, I always say that. Um, <laughs> If someone is like a hardcore Christian um, or any any religion that they're tied to, like strongly Bible thumper, like you might find yourself like calling them out on their real behavior. Um, You might be thinking about someone who's no longer here and wondering if they can see you or like when you talk about them, can they hear? Mm, it could be a family member. It could have been somebody that you used to be um, in a relationship with. It also seems that maybe someone says something to you that, again, has you thinking. Like, you're just kind of letting what they said marinate. You're like, hmm. It could, could have been some sort of advice someone gave to you. Or maybe someone says something just very boldly and were very direct or honest with you and you're just like still thinking about what that person said to you. Mm. I kind of feel like a, a Gemini, especially, but any air sign could be on your mind a lot this weekend. Somebody is also thinking about how much their family has changed. They're like, man, I remember when we used to do this or when so-and-so was around. This is what we used to do, but so much has changed. If you finally get a chance to be to yourself, I feel like you're going to be really happy about it. You're like, finally, I get some peace. Finally, I'm glad everybody gone, especially if you do live um, with family. Maybe you're glad that everybody is gone for the weekend or if they go somewhere. 
Um, or maybe you are going out to a hotel. You're like, I just need to go stay at a hotel so I can have me some alone time. It could be that you're doing that just for fun, just to get away. But I do feel like you're going to be happy to get some sort of alone time. Okay, I'm getting that somebody is also happy to be single. Either you are happy to be single or... If you're wondering how somebody feels about you, it looks like they're glad that it's over. They're like, okay, I could be myself or I'm at peace. I'm glad to be on my own. So somebody is happy about their ind independence. I do feel like somebody like misses you, but at the same time, they're not, they don't miss the relationship. They're like, I'm glad that the relationship is done. Um... I kind of feel like you could be somewhere laughing to yourself or thinking something is funny about the way you left a job or the fact that you're not working at this place anymore. Like maybe you started your own business and you're just reflecting on how it used to be when you worked at this company and you're like kind of laughing about it or you're just glad that that's in the past. On a metaphysical level, if you feel like something's watching you sometimes, I would say yes. Something it does watch you. Um, it could be a loved one who crossed over. It could just be some pesky spirit in the home. But I do feel like you're being watched. And I do feel like from a metaphysical standpoint, some somebody could be doing some kind of uh, remote viewing. Especially if this person worked for government. Mm. Yeah, initially I feel like there's some sort of sadness about an ending and then just kind of embracing it and being happy about it finding finding peace in solitude all right so let's see what additional messages there are all right what additional messages are there for earth signs taurus virgo capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have the world. Fourth Chakra Archangel Raphael. Six Chakra Archangel Metatron, Overall Energy, The Temple Path. Okay, so there's something spiritual happening for some of you. Um, it seems like certain things have happened in your life to prepare you for this spiritual journey that you're on. Um... Hmm. You might feel the need to be isolated um, for spiritual growth, or maybe you're thinking about going someplace far, going to someplace where there's a lot of spiritual energy, um, like Sedona, or any place where you heard that there's supposed to be spiritual energy. You may be feeling drawn to that place. If you're getting ready to move, it could be because you felt like it was for spiritual growth. Um, it seems too like there's a chapter closing. There's some sort of ending. 
and I feel that you are choosing to follow your heart. You might feel your heart speaking to you. There's something significant in regards to your heart chakra and your third eye, like it's being activated. Um, maybe you're needing to pay attention to what you're feeling. I feel like you also could have dreams, like even if you don't normally dream, it seems like this weekend you might remember something. You're like, oh, you know, that's what that dream meant. Um, or I finally remembered my dream and it's like for a reason. Hmm. I feel like overall something has to do with the path that you're on, some sort of spiritual path that you're on or a path of enlightenment. And I do feel that you have uh, angels and or guides with you trying to light up your pathway or give you some kind of assistance. Mm. Also, if your uh, chakras have been blocked, it seems like now they're becoming activated. It could be that someone is coming into your life just to do that to activate these chakras, like it had to be some sort of energy exchange between you and another person. And all in all, I just feel like something's gonna be very enlightening for you. I feel like you're gonna have a spiritual experience, something that maybe you haven't experienced before. Um, even if you are a spiritual person already, it just seems like something new happens and you're like, I never experienced that before. Like this is, that was strange. So it's kind of like a veil being removed. All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Send you love and grace.